Singapore executed Nagendran Damalingam this morning after a last-ditch legal challenge by his mother to seek clemency had failed. His body is expected to reach his hometown in Perak tonight. A funeral is expected to take place in Ipoh on Friday. The 34-year-old was hanged for trafficking three tablespoons of heroin into Singapore 12 years ago. Nagendran is said to have an IQ of 69, a level recognized as a disability. Lawyers for Liberty founder and Surendran expressed his disappointment over Nagendran's execution, saying that capital punishment disproportionately targets drug mules rather than the drug lords that traffic or manipulate them. Hukuman gantung ini uh, tidak pernah um, menyelesaikan atau akan menyelesaikan masalah pengedaran dadah ataupun apa-apa jenayah berat. Uh, ia adalah sesuatu yang sepatutnya tidak wujud. Uh, akhirnya yang mati adalah hanya uh, uh, drug mule dan bukannya mastermind ataupun drug kingpin yang menjalankan perniagaan uh, ataupun pengedaran dadah secara besar-besar. Nagedran's case has drawn global attention and condemnation to Singapore's continued use of the death penalty, particularly in drug trafficking cases. It also raised questions over Malaysia's own use of capital punishment. British anti-death penalty NGO Reprieve argued the execution of Nagendran, an intellectually disabled person, is a violation of international laws. Well, it's a tragic miscarriage of justice. This was a young man who had been trafficked into Singapore with a tiny quantity of drugs. He was intellectually disabled, he was mentally unwell. There are arguments that he didn't even know that he was due to be executed. His last words that we heard were crying out for his mother. Really, what good did this execution do? It really was a tragedy. Human rights group Amnesty International, meanwhile, highlighted the deep flaws of the death penalty. Having carried out two executions in the space of a month and with another man due to be executed on Friday, the Singapore government is pursuing a cruel path that is severely at odds with the uh, global trend on the abolition of the death penalty. There is no evidence to back up the government's claim that the death penalty is the answer and solution to drug-related problems in the country. According to activists, another Malaysian, Dachinamurti Kataya, is scheduled to be executed in Singapore on Friday.